At the tail end of last year the free to play indie title Starship Simulator added a brand new feature to the sim. The ability to completely cold start the ship. In the new cold and dark mode the player is able to go from wandering the corridors of a quite literally powered off and largely pitch black ship interior using nothing but a torch to see to having a pulsing reactor core, lighting throughout the ship and a functioning warp drive capable of transporting the fully explorable multi deck starship anywhere in its procedurally generated one to one recreation of the galaxy. As the name implies the intent with Starship Simulator is to create a fully detailed simulation of the inner workings of a sci-fi starship. That includes multiple playable crew positions throughout the ship, functioning power generation with its own fuel requirements and simulated ship electrical systems as well as multiple bridge stations which again can be filled by players or left to NPC crew members. In such a complex simulation you can't just flick the on switch and have the ship power up before hitting the go button. As an example in the universe of Starship Simulator the ships warp drive is actually powered by multiple large banks of batteries and it's those batteries that get their charge from the reactor core. The reaction itself uses a combination of elements all of which must be chilled and then pumped from their storage tanks to the reactor core before the reactor can be started and the resultant power has to then be sent to the batteries and then from the batteries out around the ship via a series of distributors. The game comes bundled with a very nice fully voiced cold start tutorial which will walk you through a version of the ship for the purposes of training but if you want to do a cold start in your own game session outside of the tutorial you're on your own. You've just got to know how to complete the multi step process just like a real ships engineer. A cold start of Starship Simulator is huge fun and definitely something we'd recommend trying and if you want to give it a go yourself then we'd absolutely recommend going through the in game tutorial first at least once. However there is nothing quite like accomplishing the task yourself and so once you're comfortable with it we've created a checklist you can use to go through the process outside of the tutorial which you'll find linked in the description below this video. Have you been through the cold start tutorial? Did you try a cold start of your own starship in the simulator and if you did how did you get on? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe so YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to help support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything we've talked about in this video you'll find linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.